Hello, and thank you for visiting Frank Wetzel Project. I'm Richard Wetzel, CEO and founder, and half-brother of Frank Edward Wetzel, the man wrongfully accused of killing state troopers Winsor Reese and J.C. Brown back in 1957. The evidence assembled here clearly shows that Frank Wetzel was not the man that committed those crimes, and that the eyewitness admitted that he lied, even gave sworn depositions, just as the eyewitness in Cleveland, Ohio last week, he was forced to lie by the police and admitted so. Yet Frank Wetzel was never granted his freedom and spent 54 years until his death in 2012. And the state of North Carolina thought that that was the end of it when they got his body out of their facilities. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not. I have a petition that is asking His Honor Governor Pat McCory to overturn these wrongful convictions. The evidence is clear. Both juries admitted reasonable doubt to the court. All this is in the website. Proof positive. The United States Supreme Court is going to be asked to reopen this case if the juries have been employed with mandatory reasonable doubt instructions as become effective in 1961, Frank Wetzel would have never been convicted for these crimes. How anyone could look at this assemblyment of evidence and deny the truth would be way beyond my comprehension. Any fair and reasonable and open-minded person that views this has got to realize that a horrendous miscarriage of justice took place and my brother was the victim. I'm asking you to help me gather a legal defense fund. I have a manuscript from Bill Curry which will be offered on the website. The six-time national sportscaster of the year never got to report the cases that he covered for WRL radio back when the trials took place. He did testify in a Supreme Court case to try and get Frank a retrial. All of his efforts were met by resistance from the FBI and the North Carolina State Highway Patrol and the office of Sheriff R.W. Goodman of Richmond County. Threats to his family. He doesn't even mention Richard Wetzel in his manuscript because he feared for my life and that of my elderly father and my epileptic mother. I was raised poor on a social security income. I never had the money to get put up a fight until now. Now the state of North Carolina had better look out because I have ample proof that my brother was more than innocent and your state is going to have to pay. I am not in this for financial gain. I have two children with the same name and a lot of other nephews and nieces and all their children well over 250 direct descendants of William Wetzel and Ken to Frank Wetzel. We do not roll over lightly, and we will not roll over lightly. Please sign my petition. Please donate. Read the books. Send this out to all your friends and all your family. I need all the social media help that I can get. You'll see a link for my YouTube video where I'm dressed as the man in the striped pajamas, where you'll see me in public passing out invitations to this website and begging for your help. God bless you for any and all support, and God bless America.